everybody knows that you don't always get perfect holiday weather, but in Waikiki, there's always a backup plan. I had organised an experience that was not only indoors, but musical, which is one of my loves. And the best bit, absolutely free. Okay, I found the first place where we can uh, have a bit of fun on a gloomy day. It's right here at the ukulele store with Tyler. Good to meet you, buddy. Aloha. You've been teaching for years. Years. For free. For free. What is that? Well, everybody's welcome to come down and try the free ukulele lesson. We do it twice a day, yeah. 10.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. And where are we, though? We're at the ukulele store on Lure Street, Lure Street in Waikiki Beach Wan. Beautiful, mate. And this is just an easy way for you to come down and learn a little bit of our Hawaiian culture. Yeah. And we're happy to teach you a couple tunes and then you'll be jamming. <laughs> I love that. Um, you've been doing it for years, as you say, but and nations. You must have taught people from all over the world. All over the world. Tens of thousands of people. Everybody ends up with a smile on their oh, face. Sweet as. And a day like this, it's got a little bit, you know, the weather changes here. We're in the middle of the ocean, let's face it. So things are going to change. This is a good little, uh, you know, way out and have I'll a bit of fun. Put a smile on your face. I love it. Smile on my dial. Let's go do it, shall we? Absolutely. Beautiful. I'll show you. A smile on our dials? Not a problem. Everyone was having a ball. And to play a few beginner's tunes within half an hour made it even more enjoyable. And what about the selection of ukuleles here? Every type imaginable, and one to suit every budget. From a $30 starter to this $5,000 beauty. Seriously, so much fun. Still, not sure if I'll become a ukulele legend anytime soon. If the sun isn't shining, you can still have some fun. Of course you can. Definitely. Get out of here. There was still a little rain about, but Lynette guaranteed me that what she had planned would not only keep us dry, but would be therapeutic as well. Oh man, I thought you were going to get us out of this rain. I did! See? <laughs> Indoor waterfall. Oh yes, my friend. We are at the International Marketplace and we're going shopping. Yes. Best afternoon ever! Alright, that's, that's good. You've done well. You've done well. Okay, so shopping might not be my favourite thing in the world, but this place was pretty impressive. And with all these shopping choices, there was surely something for me. Still, it wasn't just the shops that were notable. The centre itself also had kept in touch with nature. Wow. Check it out. This is one of the original banyan trees on the island and when the shopping centre was built, the Hawaiians loved it so much that they've actually built around it. They would have been in trouble if they did, Can right? you imagine? And wow. why wouldn't you? It's so beautiful. It is. That's special. That is one beautiful tree. But I found something else to get my motor running. If I can just sneak away. Well, Scotty has managed to do a runner already, which shouldn't take very long, but it does not matter because with over 90 specialty stores here, there are so many things for me to do and if there's one thing I can do, it's shop by myself. I'm going to go have a look at a few more. She won't miss me at all. I'm sure she's in shopping heaven and I can actually hear the credit card getting a workout from here. And why not, eh? That's what holidays are about. Relax, have a little splurge, reward yourself. Me? Well, I'm happy right here doing the relax part. Uh-oh, busted. Oh my goodness, is that where you've been? Oh. Sleepyhead, let's go. Are we done? Yes, we're done. With the retail therapy sorted and Lynette more than happy, it's time for a quick change and an early dinner at one of Waikiki's hotspots, Mahina and Sons, where Lynette and I caught up with head chef Eric Leong. What is elevated home cooking? Um, elevated home cooking is food um, that's very approachable, that reminds you of your mother's cooking. Food that's very simple and really like warms your soul, you know? So what do we order when we come in here? What's your definitely, specialty? Definitely when you come in, you definitely need to order the family feast. We have local um, deep sea snapper that we fry in the fire. Snapper's my favorite. And uh, uh, what accompaniments are local vegetables. Okay, and these vegetables, are they like indigenous to the area? They're only 
sourced locally? Uh, definitely. All our, almost all the vegetables on that feast are either sourced from Oahu itself yep. or from other neighboring islands such as Maui or the Big Island. And you're all about sustainability too for the, the ocean and the seafood you have. That is of, of the utmost importance for us. We got to us as a restaurant group, we view the ocean as not as a refrigerator, but something that should be cherished and something that should be fished respectfully for the future. Yeah. So all of our fishes are sustainable, either small on the food chain or very abundant. Yep. And if they're not in season, we just don't get it. Yeah. Well, mate, we're going to let you um, get in there and do what you do best. Will you come back and join us for a, a bit of a night? Yeah, Please we will. Do. Definitely. Let's do that. While Eric went and performed his magic, we took in a little bit of the feel of the place, which was filling up fast, and I could see why. Mood, music, and a cooling beverage had everybody chilled. Then it was time to eat. Yes, indeed. The family feast, for three. What a spread. Whole deep sea snapper, with a multitude of sides that embrace the local flavors and traditional tastes with gusto. Roasted roots, pawhaw salad, buttered ulu, and Happa Rice. Oh, we were Happa all right. Discover the aloha spirit of the Hawaiian Islands. For more information and to plan your trip, visit gohawaii.com forward slash au.